Okay, I just wanted to add a little extra video on the end of the brake caliper removal video. So, I brought up the question, uh, I did both sides, I removed both brake calipers, so that was a total of four bolts, two per caliper. Uh, when I did that, one of the four bolts had a washer on it, and the other three did not. So here is one of the, uh, one of the original bolts that does not have the washer. So my question was, um, were they all supposed to have a washer or not? So why would one bolt be different than the other three? So I brought, uh, I went into the dealer today to buy a bunch of small miscellaneous parts and stuff. And I, I raised a question to them. So they looked up the part for me. And uh, so here is a new bolt. This is an old bolt. bolt. So, um, the new bolt is about the thickness of the washer longer. So, overall, it's still the same length. Let me see if I can uh, bring these in a little bit closer. So, here's the old bolt, here's the new bolt. Now, uh, the old bolt had teeth that kind of locked it down on the bolt head. This, uh, the new bolt here, it, it's, sorry it's blurry here, but the new bolt um, has the teeth on the washer itself. So what the uh, guy at the parts counter told me was, the, uh, he told me that, that, the, that this new design replaced the original, so it's a new part number, or newer part number. So that's all I know. Um, what I can tell you is when I removed the bolt that had the washer, it was a lot easier to remove than the three that did not have the uh, washer. So we'll see if it makes a difference or not. Uh, I don't know, but um, so there you go. I don't have the part numbers, but look it up for you. It's a 21 millimeter bolt and uh, yeah, so, like I said, the new one has the washer. See you out there. Here's a look from underneath the car. Uh, that is the uh, drive shaft connecting to the uh, back of the transmission. And I already undid those six bolts, so I just wanted to give you a better view of that. You can kind of see in the foreground here, these are my stock downpipes with cats. I had already disconnected both uh, O2 sensors, rear O2 sensors. Actually, I don't think I got the, the uh, did I get this one out? Yeah, I did. It's loose. Okay. So both O2 sensors are out. Oh, by the way, to get to those uh, drive shaft bolts, I did remove the little heat shield. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is head towards a little bit more further up towards the engine. And uh, this is uh, not going to be easy to explain upside down with the camera held at a weird angle. But uh, basically, we just need to disconnect a bunch of stuff going to the transmission. So we have, I believe, the shifter cable, the... Uh, gear selector cable which is probably the shifter cable and a uh, couple electrical connectors so I will uh, check all that out before or first hand and then I'll get back okay so I have a chain to lift or support the engine but uh, I did not have a set of bolts or anything to connect the chain to the uh, lifting points so I did, I uh, just went to Home Depot and I picked up some clevises, uh, clevi, uh, they call them anchor shackles. These ones are rated to 13, 20 pounds. I don't think the engine and trans and subframe will be more than that. So these were a little less than $5 a piece and they call them anchor shackles. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm underneath the transmission here. This is uh, towards the front of the transmission, so pretty much where it bolts to the engine. Uh, there's two connectors here. Here's one, and here's the other one. 
I don't even know what these connectors are called. I think one's a transmission switch, and then one's the F125 cable or switch. Um, just for reference, my car is a 2002. I don't think you can see that, but my transmission is a 5HP-19. So, I don't know. I think usually the older ones were 01... E or V or something like that so um, this might be a little bit different than your application <clears throat> so we're gonna disconnect this one here and it looks like a normal uh, Audi style you know pull disconnect and then I believe this one here you just spin it to uh, remove that and then once I remove this I gotta cut this cable tie zip tie and then uh, pop it out of these detents here, or retaining clips. And then uh, I know there's, I thought there was a wheel speed sensor somewhere too, so I need to kind of look for that. I haven't found that yet. Uh, so I will, well, actually, I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but there's a, uh, I think that's the engine speed sensor way up in there you're not gonna see that on the video so it's black it's held in by a single bolt uh, actually you can see the bolt kind of glowing in the background there so I believe that needs to come out and uh, I'll keep hunting for the wheels wheel speed sensor I think it's behind one of the one of the heat shields so all right let's get these other two connectors off first these guys and then uh, we'll keep going from there so stay tuned okay so here's a note on this uh, connector here it's a little different than most of the other electrical connectors but it's just kind of like a cam lock connector so you basically spin spin this tab around and it pops it loose on its own and then from there you just pull it out and leave it dangling so it's kind of like a twist lock so that's that one this other guy up here that's a traditional uh, quick release or whatever so these are the ones that everyone always breaks so let's uh, let's give it a try. All right, so here's my current dilemma. I'm trying to figure out how to disconnect the shifter cable. So you can see the box. This is uh, basically in the, underneath the floorboard of the car, of the center column, uh, where the shifter is. You can see this line coming out of it, and it goes all the way down the side of the transmission. And the uh, I believe I need to disconnect it either there or I need to disconnect this box. So that way uh, the shifter uh, cable comes with down with the transmission. So um, there's a heat shield, it looks like, in the way of getting to where it connects to the transmission. So I'm not sure if I should remove the heat shield and try to get up to it from that way, or if I should just pop this box loose up top here. So um, I'm going to have to do some research and figure that out. Just wanted to make note of the uh, routing paths for the uh, O2 sensors. So it comes down the passenger side of the uh, rear of the transmission, and then uh, cross one goes into this uh, cat right in front of the cat, and then the long one that's dangling down that would cross over and go to the other one. It looks like there's a clip, metal clip on the uh, the longer wired one. So I'm going to be deleting my rear O2s, uh, most likely be doing test pipes as well, so deleting the cats. So I'm going to remove them, but I just wanted to take note of the wire routing for them.